is over with this is crypto muscle. This is coming to you in another YouTube video. Here we are. Uh, the failures of this trash project here. All right, hex, pull shame, hex, real gen, and you guys got suckered into a bullshit project. Simply put. All right, so let's talk about it here. Come on, guys. You guys know that. There's only a small minority, you guys. That is just keeping Pulse Chain afloat right now. And Hex there. Alright, because other than that, everybody outside of this little bubble that you guys are in, no one gives a damn about it. <laughs> I mean, simply put, no one gives a damn about Pulse Chain. Or else it would have been bigger than it is right now. All this hype and all this talk and how you guys can't wait till shit happens and, and uh, it launches finally. And guess what? I mean, it's just nothing. Nothing has come out of it. All right. Look at it. <laughs> nothing has come out of it. It's been out several months now, and nothing has changed. You don't hear nothing about anything about Pulse Chain out there in the space because it's trash. Uh, when you come out with something that's supposed to be better in theory and in concept, the best of the best. Better than Binance Smart Chain, right? Because that's what you were gunning for at the time. And to only come out with something that's just a bit better than Ethereum, to me, is the weakest point of this whole thing. Alright, of Pulse Chain. Because if they just did not... If they... I don't know what it is that they could have done better. Because to really go back to ETH Network... And fork off of that to me was like just throwing throwing water in your face or throwing or you know dump you know spitting food in your face, you know it's just because it, it doesn't make sense to me that you're trying to get away from something that was well it was bad for everybody right the the high gas fees associated with ETH and you know it's not it's not ETH's fault it's just the demand and usage. That drove the gas prices up. And in time, you know, it, it, it was a slow bleed. <laughs> but in time, finally, ETH kind of came down to um, where it needs to be, right? But at the same time, there's other faster chains out there, right? Like ETH is fast, but Tron is faster. Binance Smart Chain is faster. And that's about as far as I go, because I don't really go, you know, to Polygon and, and all those other garbage cryptos either. Because, again, those are barely used and no one cares about. But if you're trying to set the world on fire, which they sort of did with Hex, right, with Pulse Chain and Hex, you, you know, they should have followed up with what was proposed and what it could have been. Because had they followed through with that, you would for sure see more projects talking about it, be on board about it, and that's all there is, and and the talk about it. But obviously, it's so quiet, you know, that you can hear whispers of just people whispering to each other about how bad this is. Because that's how quiet it is. You can just hear the whispers. And it's just crazy. How that is. And sad. Because you guys got. Dragged along. Two plus years. And and nothing to really show for. Really. Come on. Nothing to really show for. Because. You know when Hex rose to like 50 some cents. How many of you truly cashed out. At the, you know, proverbial top. Or, or how many people cashed out on its run up to 50-some cents. And then on its way down from 50-some cents. Not a whole lot. For sure, a handful of you guys. But not a whole lot overall. And so, now I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are just trying to do that whole strategy, right? Oh, you don't fud about what you're in. Or, you know, you got to stay positive 
right? Because positivity always produces, you know, bounce back results and all that, right? I mean, go ask Cynthia of uh, Novatec about that and and go ask, um, you know, Jensen and Vortec about that too. You know, go ask, uh, what's his name? Um, of arbitraging, right? Jeremy. All right, go ask him. Go well, ask all the people about what staying positive does for you and uh, not fighting your own quote unquote investment does for you. And positive thoughts and prayers, right? Positive prayers and pray, pray, pray. You know, how's that worked out for you in crypto? Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm, I'm trying to listen, up, but I don't hear any responses. Oh, okay. So. So that stuff doesn't work, right? But you guys continue to deploy that idea, of, you know, staying positive will will uh, somehow, some way, get back to the creator of the platform or the or the coin or the crypto, or whatever. Somehow, in some way, you know, telepathically, we'll get to them and say, "Oh, people are praying about it, and people are thinking about it positively." Oh my gosh! You know what? It, it sent. It, it is setting the soft feelings in my heart that I'm gonna produce results for you guys because of those positive thoughts that you guys did for me. I'm gonna do my best to get you guys positive results. And all you guys that prayed for me, oh my gosh! Thank you. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and produce positive results now because that's what's needed, right? Come on. You idiots. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of morons, man. And so, <laughs> all this stuff, <laughs> besides, you know, you could be like, uh, what's her name? Ellie Yan. All right. You could be like her and just buy bags and bags and bags of it, thinking it's like a great thing to do, but what does it really get you? <laughs> just a bag full of shit coins, right? It doesn't do nothing. All right, between, uh, you know, I'll, I'll never forget between her and that idiot, uh, My Crypto Project, that's what he called himself, with his little accent, terrible, <laughs> terrible YouTuber, kept on buying bags of crypto, and what does that really get him? Nothing. And then he was battling Cynthia, or not Cynthia, Ellie Yan on how many bags of shit coins they could collect. So the whole point of this is that Hex is one of those shit coins too. Let's take a look at the current value. All right, how many bag? How much bags of this bullshit you guys buy buy right now? It was five percent, five point seven down in the day. That's a big, you know, that's a little drop off there. Uh, it looks big, but when you're looking at how many zeros are in front of it, that's not a big drop. <laughs> Uh, past seven days, looks like you're, uh, about to be flat from where it was a week ago. So, see how you guys keep playing with each other, right? You know, you, you, this was kind of technically at a higher price. So, all the top people dumped on you guys, right? So, oh shit, it's so cheap, it's so cheap, right? So, those same people are saying, it's so cheap, guys. Buy right now, it's so cheap. You could, uh, you know, get it, you know, oh man, I mean, below you know shitoshis and buy it up because it's so cheap right so then you dummies are probably dumb enough to buy it up and ride it back up and then it's going sideways right you guys are getting excited because you guys are thinking oh shit it's a bull run it's here oh my gosh man i'm so excited i'm so excited and then guess what those same people that told you guys to buy because it it's so cheap dumped it on you guys again right and this is exactly right here the only reason why these dummies are bullish is because they are staked for like 15 years and they got to try to save their shitcoin. That's exactly right. All right. That is exactly it. You guys are a bunch of rubes that, you know, st ladder staked it and all those other, you know, dumbass strategies of 15, 20 years because you guys were supposedly want to, I want to give it to my kids. I want to give it to my grand. Get out of here, that shit. This shit's going to be dead <laughs> by the time your kids grow up or your grandkids grow up and you think you're going to come back to cash this out and <laughs> it's either going to be where it's at, way below zero or uh, no longer exist, all right? Because that's the way crypto works, all right? The top, top, 
you know, ones that's been around, like the Bitcoins and Ethereums and all that, will stick around. But all these shit coins is going to die. They all do. And if we're in this supposed bull run, then, then um, you know, something like this wouldn't be where it's at right now. Let's see here. Pulse chain. Past week, down nearly 20%. That's pretty big for for that. For the past day, it's uh uh flat. We'll just say it flat. I mean, point seven. That's still flat. But for the past week, that's nearly twenty percent. That's huge. All right, that's huge. So <laughs> look at this guy dreaming. PLS day one of feeling bullish on PLS. The drama uh, with Binance today has shown that DeFi is the way forward. Okay, it's definitely not this DeFi. <laughs> not, not this one, All right? I'm bearish on this, down 80% since May, uh, while Bitcoin, all this stuff's been up since May. So happy that I never put a penny into the fart cult, but I'm enjoying every second of watching them lose their money. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it, what have you really gained from it? Because when you look at it, all right, 0.5x, uh, sacrifice for PLS. And you look at PLSX, the second sacrifice, right? 0.17x. Wow, man. And imagine you gave up your real crypto. All right. Your ETH, your Bitcoin, your Tron, your Binance coins. You gave up your real crypto in this sacrifice, remember, with no expectations for these shit coins. All right. And uh, what were you thinking you're going to get out of it? <laughs> you guys were thinking you saw the hex. You guys thought you guys truly thought you're going to be doing like what hex was doing. All right. Because you dummies you know, don't want to learn that, hey. You know, the development does, you know, make a difference on what they do. And when they shifted development, that really killed, you know, this concept itself. And the way it dragged on and on and on for the last couple of years after sacrifice, that really killed the momentum as well. Come on, people, let's face it. That's a fact of life. But this right here, you gave up your real crypto for, this, for these shit coins here. It's not going to get you nothing. And watch when these things fall below sacrifice price. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to be a heyday. When these fall below sacrifice price. All right, because it's getting there. It's getting really close. Let me look at these numbers. Oh, man. Imagine that, though. And when it falls below that. Wow. And this is crap right here. All right, it's one penny. Come on. Hex hasn't been a penny in a long time. They're really trying to throw the wool over your eyes. Look at that penny right here. No. This is, a tell, this is what's real. All right. Half a penny. Not a penny. All right, they're trying to use that little piece to de deceive you into thinking that, oh, Hex is a penny. And all this crap. I mean, <laughs> this is funny, though. I mean, we, come on. What has it really shown you guys? I mean, that, this is the disappointing facts, right? That, you know, it's going to enrich users, right? Uh, and it's 17% faster than Ethereum. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so blazing fast. 17%. And you wonder why those long line of projects are no longer a long line of projects. Because these simple facts... Might as well just jump on the Binance Smart Chain. Might as well. Shit, jump on the Tron Network. I mean, come on. So, that's... These are facts. I don't need to make shit up. And to me, the biggest disappointment was just the redevelopment onto the ETH Network. That's bottom line. The biggest disappointment to see and hear that they did. And that's why all this is showing what it is in a supposed bull run market right 
Just saying, food for thought, you know, but you guys don't want to listen. It's okay, though. We'll wait till this goes flat zero, dead.